Shane, you had a great vantage point to see what uh, Fullwiler was doing tonight. What was working for him specifically? We're, we were working two pitch mix here, you know, trying to go hard and soft away. Just just pitching to contact, honestly, trusting our defense and uh, just trying to keep the pitch count low and collect outs. He pitched great against Exeter. He pitched great again tonight. How much has he improved from uh, a season ago? I mean, last year we had him coming in behind Coley. He had great success. Um, this year we knew that he, he's going to throw strikes. He's always going to, he hits his spots. So a lot of guys, you know, you're looking for guys who throw mid 80s, upper 80s. Dalton doesn't do that. He throws strikes and just, just collect outs. He does what the pitcher needs to do. How important is that in high school baseball to not give out those free passes? In my opinion, that's probably the biggest part of pitching. If you hit your spots, you're going to win eight, nine times out of ten. Obviously, you, you miss one, you're going to give up a hit here and there, but just hit, hitting your spots is real big. How nice was it for you offensively to get a double to, to start the, the game there? It, it really sets a tone for the team and just you know get, get, gets the guys going early. Um, so just, just jumping up there big and, and getting that RBI was, was huge. You have Burr, you have Gio, yourself, uh, all at the top of the order. How good do you think this team can be offensively this season? I mean, I mean, you see us out here, we're running, we're running the bases. So, you know, us, us just getting on, putting the ball in play is, is, is the biggest part of it. As long as you, you know, get the ball in play, we can move runners like no other team. So, just, just real big. Do you think the team speed is the biggest strength or, or certainly one of them this season? I, I would say coming off of last season, you know, we had a bunch of heavy hitters. We, we, we lived off a double scoring nine runs a game. This year our play style is completely different and the, the run game definitely plays a big part in it. You guys dropped your first two, now have won four in a row. What have you noticed that has, has changed? Um, you know, tough, just honestly, just a tough schedule coming out. We played two um, below average scrimmages. We didn't face great arms. Coming out, we saw a big lefty from Mannheim, Velez, he's a great pitcher. So, just a tough start. And honestly, you know, the Mannheim game, you can't complain, we competed. So, honestly, we're just, just getting our feet under us. It was big. Van Ostenbridge had been really good coming into this game. What, what was your game plan as a team uh, against him? Um, honestly, we just wanted to attack, attack the fastball. We know he has his breaking ball, but we, we figured that if we just, you know, lay the breaking ball and, and hunt the fastball, we knew that we, we'd have success. You find Barrow with a kid throwing that hard, it's going to lead to success. Mm -hmm. How much do you enjoy these night games here at Muhlenberg? It, it, it's the best. You know, you mm -hmm. get out here at 7 o'clock, the crowd's massive. you got Mifflin coming in, all these teams. It, it really sets the tone early for the game and just, you know, it really gets your, uh, your uh, adrenaline going. What do you think about moving up to Division One this year? I, I have zero regrets moving up. Playing better competition every day only sets you up more for the playoffs. Our, our schedule is a complete grind, including our non-league games. So going into the playoffs, we're not going to find teams um, better than what we've already seen. So it really prepares us. What catchers do you look up to? Who do you like to watch in, in the big leagues? I, I would say JT, just because he's, he, <laughs> he's fast. I feel like he's a, he's a smaller guy, kind of like me. So just like, you know, he's quick, he's good with his bat. I, I feel like we have a similar play style. Yeah, your throws down to second were, were right on the money. How much have you, you worked on that? That's that's a big part of my game on the off season. You know, just controlling the run game was big. Last year with Brad, you know, big lefty. I think we had three stolen bases given up all year. Um, so I knew this year going into it that we weren't going to have Brad. So mm -hmm. I knew I had to control the run game more, and I really put a lot of time into that. Are you a Phillies fan? I'm not. I'm yeah. a Yankees fan. Yankees fan? Yes, sir. <laughs> How do you think they're going to do this season? Um, You know, it always looks great, and then we go into the playoffs and usually, you know, screw it up. So, you know, I'm just, just praying to make it out the first round, honestly. Yeah. You know, we got Judge back, great plus, but our pitching staff's uh, a little weakened with injuries. So, who, who is Judge your favorite Yankees player? That's my guy. Yeah. yeah. Him, him and DJ. I like DJ. Yeah. Those are those big, so. Um, favorite band that you're listening to right now? I wouldn't say I listen to bands. Or rapper. I, I, I would say Lil Baby's my guy, though. <laughs> And uh, favorite post game meal? What do you like to eat after Ooh, a game? We're going, we're going to uh, Applebee's after this for the half price ad. So that's <laughs> that's definitely going to be big. What's your app of choice? Got to go with the boneless wings, right? Yeah, that's right. Yep. All right. Well, congratulations and good luck the rest of the year. Thank you. I appreciate it.